Hey guys, welcome to the Holiday Show Speed Round Edition. Hold on, something on the camera. <sighs> that was driving me crazy. Uh, well, it's going to try to speed round it because this is coming out late. Uh, instead of doing it on Tuesday, I'm doing it on Friday. Uh, more than 24 hours after it should have been posted. So anyway, let's get into it Friday, today, when this is going up. National Puzzle Day. Get a puzzle. If you don't know how this works, I give uh, go over the holidays for the next week, starting uh, Friday the 29th, and it'll go to February 4th. Alright, so yeah. Puzzle, National Puzzle Day. Uh, pretty simple. Get a puzzle. National Corn Chip Day. Oh yeah. Get some Fritos. At least I will. There's more than just Fritos. Tortilla chips are technically a corn chip. Um, Alright, so... Those are all the holidays for Friday. Saturday, National Inane Answering Machine, or Answering Message Day. And this is why I didn't think a speed round was going to work, because today's holidays, I need some explanation. So let us, let's just dive into that. By the way, I'm using HolidayInsights.com. <coughs> this holiday is always on January 30th. Many people look at the title of this day and think, huh. Some people think it's a typo, and the day should read National Insane Answering Message Day. However, it actually, and truly, is National Inane Answering Message Day. First, let's clarify the meaning of in inane answering message. We all get them in our answering machines. An inane message is a senseless or meaningless message, or a prank call, or it could be an inane message. Our insane message. Sorry, I misread that. So National Inane Answering Message Day is a day to end those numerous annoying inane answering machine messages. Oh, it seems like anti-National Inane Message Day. Trouble is, how do you do that? In today's world, caller ID is a great tool to accomplish this goal. Many of us did not grow up with a physical answering machine, either separately or plugged into a landline phone, updated today's world, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah. Take that as you will. Uh, I'm like, if this is ended, I'd rather set one up. i to try to figure out my answering machine thing. Set it up and run it till Valentine's Day. I don't know. I'm not coming through on this one very well. Okay, so let, the other holiday for Saturday is National Seed Swap Day. I don't know that either. It's holiday. <laughs> the holidays are, the holidays are over, and things have certainly slowed down. The snow is piling up outside, which is part of the reason this is late. Somewhere out there, your garden is under inches. If not feet of snow, spring is so, so far away. What's a gardener to get excited about? Towards the end of January, the last Saturday to be exact, is a huge, let's call it holiday, for gardeners suffering from no dirt under the fingers withdrawal. It's National Seed Swap Day. People have been swapping and trading seeds since man or women first trilled the soil of this planet. Centuries ago, seeds and even flower bulbs have been used as a form of currency or to barter. On National Seed Swap Day, gardeners, groups, and organizations hold a seed swap for their members. It allows them to trade rare, uncommon, unique, and heirloom seeds. Garden hobbyists enjoy the challenge of growing something they haven't grown before. So this is both fun and valuable event. On National Seed Swap Day, make plans to bring some seeds to swap to your local garden club. If you do not belong to a group or club, join or start one. You will be glad you did. Um, maybe just buy some seeds. Buy some, if you grow stuff, grow, you know, buy some seeds to something you don't usually grow. So, the last day of January 31st is Backwards Day. You know, do stuff backwards, wear your clothes backwards, all that fun stuff. And it's also Inspire Your Heart with Art Day. Uh, do some art. Or, go to a museum. Or, look up some art, something that inspires you. 
January 31st is also the NFL Pro Bowl, which is going to be on Madden this year. And also, for you wrestling fans, it's the Royal Rumble. You already know that. I was just killing time to swipe over to the next month, which I'm trying to figure out how to do. I'm going to have to cut this with the magic of whatever. I'm sure that was a very smooth cut. All right, so on to February. Monday, February 1st, it's National Freedom Day. Which seems to go with the other national, or no politics day. That would be a first in a long time. Anyway, National Freedom Day. National Freedom Day celebrates freedom from slavery. In recognition, or sorry, and recognizes that America is a symbol of freedom. National Freedom Day was established in 1948 to remind us that America stands for and is a symbol of freedom for all people. The roots of this special day come directly from the end of slavery and the signing of the 13th Amendment outlawing slavery. Celebrate this day by reflecting upon your own freedoms that you enjoy by being fortunate enough to be in America. Millions of people in the world are not free. You know what I would do? Post this holiday, first thing Monday, what it is, look it up. Look up National Freedom Day, February 1st, post that on like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and then have fun with the replies. So anyway, na uh, no politics day, I think that's pretty self-explanatory, but uh, if you do my suggestion for National Freedom Day, I don't think you're going to be able to do no politics day. Um, and then... Last for February 1st is Spunky Old Broads Day. Spunky Old Broads Month is February. Spunky Old Broads Day is upon us, aren't you glad? This special day exists to give all Spunky Old Broads SOPs a day to recognize their importance and to celebrate themselves and their accomplishments. It is also a perfect day for young ladies among us, an opportunity to begin planning and preparing to become a spunky old broad, broad someday. When thinking about what an SOB should be, one thinks of successful, independent, self-reliant, smart, intelligent, ongoing, or sorry, outgoing, and outspoken, resourceful, bold, brave, and anything but shy. So, uh, yeah. That was more for the ladies. Um, I think, I think I just said what, what to do. Oh, you're spunky, you figure it out. Alright, February 2nd. There's more than the holiday you think. It's also Candlemas. The Feast of Purification. There's a lot of stuff this week that I don't know about. Candlemas is the last holiday of the Christmas season. Candlemas is a Christian celebration or festival of the Feast of Purification of the Virgin Mary. It also celebrates the annual blessing of candles used by the church. So, uh... Oh, there's more. According to Jewish customs, women were considered unclean after the birth of a child. The unclean period lasted 40 days after the birth of a son and 60 days after the birth of a daughter. During this period, they were not allowed to... Sorry, they were not allowed to apparently lose your place. Uh, to worship at the temple, or, yeah. At the end of this time, the woman was brought to the temple and purified in a ceremony after the birth of Christ. The Virgin Mary was purified on Candlemas, or the Feast of Purification. On Candlemas, candles used during the year are blessed. In Christian churches, candles represent Jesus Christ as the light, the truth, and the way. Um... Hmm? Have a feast. That's what I'll do. Maybe put do a little Christmas kind of feast. And the other holiday is Groundhog's Day. And for once, I'm going to see Groundhog's Day, the movie, on Groundhog's Day. I still haven't seen the movie. Because I always want to see it on Groundhog's Day, and I never do. Alright, February 3rd, that's Wednesday. Feed the Birds Day. You know, um... Feed the birds. Also, it's 
the day the music died day, and that's the day that um, Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and the Big Bopper died. Um, I love making um, playlists and uh, Pandora radio stations. I think I found some inspiration for one. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to listen to that that day. Moving on to the final day. February 4th. Create a vacuum day? How about I just vacuum? Theory 1. Okay, there's theories. No one's quite sure what it is. A hardworking housewife frustrated over her vacuuming chores declared a day to commemorate the chore of vacuuming. The hole in this theory is that the day would likely be simply called vacuum day and or no vacuuming day why include the word create in the title this led us to 32 a mad scientist created this day to celebrate the creation of a vacuum during laboratory work but isn't this routine scientific work we think so therefore this led us to theory number three someone desperately in need of a simplifier simpler life conceived this day they wanted to create a vacuum that would suck all the daily work, chores, and clutter out of their life. If only for one day, they would be free to enjoy a simple life of leisure. Now, here's a theory that truly really makes sense for us. However, sorry. However, you choose to commemorate this day. We hope. Oh, however you choose to commemorate this day, we hope it's a good one. You know, I'm going to use that day to vacuum a lot. Uh, it's also Stuffed Mushroom Day, so, you know, if you like mushrooms, have a stuffed mushroom. And thank a mailman day. Maybe leave a gift in the mailbox for your mailman. I'm not sure of the legality of that. You know, do something to appreciate your mailman. I mean, you still get mail, don't you? I don't know, some people don't. I don't know. Anyway, those are the holidays for the coming week. Sorry it's late. Try to be better next week and a uh, better presentation, hopefully, finally. And, yeah, we'll see you next time. Like, subscribe, turn 